Hey everyone, so I want to do a quick little video. It's just pretty much how I am doing with my third pregnancy and how my boys are. So just a little recap, I am pregnant with baby number three and also um, both of my boys, I have two boys, are premature. They were born at 34 weeks was my oldest and 36 weeks was my second. So I have them too. My oldest is three and my baby just turned 14 months this November and since Thanksgiving's just around the corner I may do even some little videos about uh, Thanksgiving so keep an eye out on that um, so anyways little <laughs> preview I still don't know what baby is yet I will actually find out December 4th and since my husband he's gonna be inside the car with the boys it's gonna be a surprise for him so I'm going to try to do like this little like reveal, like how they do the reveal with the cake and the color if it's pink or blue. So I'm going to try to do something like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a cake, a whole entire cake, or maybe just little cupcakes or something. I'm not sure, um, depending on how I am as well. Um, I've been having morning sickness like crazy. I've been having morning sickness like crazy. Thank you. Welcome. I've been having morning sickness. Sorry. Repeating it like 20 times. <laughs> Anyways. And watch out. Watch out. My <laughs> baby. Give it to a baby. So. Um, I've been having that. I For like two weeks, I was actually able to eat a little something. Um, actually finally eat a little bit of meat. I have not been eating meat at all. It just doesn't the smell of it and all that other stuff is just horrible to me. I want to throw up all the time. <laughs> just talking about it, like my mouth just got watery. <laughs> just talking about it makes me want to throw up. So, um, that's pretty much what my whole entire week has been lately. I, out of nowhere, just overnight went back to having bad morning sickness. So I had to go to the hospital. And it was the day of my shot as well, so... That was not fun, getting a testosterone shot and having that that day. I think it was mostly nerves, but it went very fast. Like overnight, I was just, I couldn't keep anything down. Oh, I just wanted to throw up, not even medicine worked. It, it was just horrible. So, um, I had um, a little break. For a little while and finally getting back to um, eating a little something so far right now I have coffee well decaf coffee um, I've been doing that uh, not so much in the morning uh, later at night I get a little bit more of a craving I guess um, it's I've been actually craving this time avocados which is weird because I've never craved that before um, so this pregnancy is different from my others, and um, I, since I had both of my boys early, I've been getting testosterone shots every week. They're not fun afterwards. Like it's fine when you get the shot, but afterwards your leg starts hurting and it's like a big old bruise on your side of your leg or on the side of your thigh. It's just horrible. So i get that every single week to help try to keep baby in it's only works i guess the doctor says only 30 percent of it works but to see if it helps i guess that's not as bad um what else it's just morning sickness i got a rash actually underneath the armpits um it's called a pup p-u-p-p -P. if you guys want to look that up um what it's basically it's uh the cells the blood cells that are in the baby and since we're kind of sharing the same blood and it's going through me the hormones and everything and the blood cells go into my body and it gave me the rash so it's nothing like from being like the environment or anything or whatever i'm taking it's more just of the baby and the cells and the hormones all together something like that uh, <laughs> that's pretty much what it is and it's just so far underneath my armpits and I'm glad since I live in Michigan that it's been snowing and cold that 
the rash hasn't been as bad. If I get too hot, it gets more itchy. Kind of like one of those heat rashes, you itch it when you're too hot or something. It's kind of like that. Um, I actually had to get steroid cream to uh, put it on to make sure to calm down the itching a little. Um, it leaves scarring after um, if you itch it so much. Like if you itch yourself a lot, you leave scars. That's pretty much what it is. I so I pretty much try to not itch myself at all. I got that. It's finally like going away. It's not so much. I'm glad it's just underneath my armpit than all over my body because I guess you do get it everywhere, even on your stomach and your legs and your back and your face and head and all that other stuff. So I'm glad it's just underneath my armpits right now. And I'm happy it just stays there. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I've been going through. Um, that's different from my boys. I've never had that. That was actually new to me. The craving avocados was a little bit new to me. Um, I crave a little bit more sweets, I guess, this time uh, with this baby than I did with my boys. With my boys, it was something that was hot. Was hot. It had to be hot, uh, hot and sour soup with extra chili, um, fruit with chili on it, um, things like that, cucumbers with chili. That was pretty much what I would eat with my boys. Um, oranges is what I craved a lot with my boys, and this time I didn't crave oranges. This time it was avocados. <laughs> so I've been going to the store and getting avocados pretty much on that. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. That's all I, right now what I have. I'm just trying to cope with my morning sickness. Uh, no prenatal pills or vitamins so far yet. I've gotten all that through IV. Uh, just because I can't my morning sickness and taking the vitamins it makes me more nauseous so putting the vitamins I need for me and baby in the IV well I'm also getting the um, morning uh, the Zofran which is for nauseous and morning sickness um, sometimes if you are already mothers and your kids have been sick they give it to kids as well so it's safe for baby and me and that's what pretty much I've been doing so far, uh, I've been lately on my own, so doctor wants to make sure I, I try to keep up with an appetite a little bit, try to eat what is important for me and baby, and try to eat what I crave is what doctor said. Um, so I could at least establish that for a little while and then get on to the children's vitamins and then hopefully later on go into the prenatal vitamins if baby doesn't come out that soon. <laughs> So, pretty much the same with that. I did that also with my boys. Um, I actually, what helped, I think, a lot with my boys, um, developing-wise, was I always try to find food that had um, high in iron, because I am anemic, and that's also a problem. And I also try to find a lot of foods that were, um, now I forget get the name wait a minute <laughs> i think it's on here somewhere uh flocal acid or some if i said that right well i try to find a lot of that in food and mostly it's in cereal a lot so flocal acid is great for the baby's brain development and organs development so that's what i actually pretty much did with my boys and i'm trying to do that now as well a little bit harder because dairy Foods don't really cope with me so well, so coffee has been dairy free. Our decaf coffee has been dairy free. Pretty much everything has been mostly dairy free. Um, so that's pretty much what it is with me and baby. I will show you baby, and then I'm going to talk about my boys. So here's the front and the side. And I am actually 19 weeks today, so I'm trying to move up closer. <laughs> I am actually 19 weeks today, and in a week and one day, I will find out what baby is. And I, I'm hoping to do a video, and I'll post it up so you guys could see as well. Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it with me and baby so far right now. 
And now with my boys, I'm going to start with my oldest, which is, he's three years old. He actually is now 37 pounds. So he went to this whole entire stage where he dropped a lot of weight. He went down to like 34, 35 pounds. Now he's back to eating and um, doing stuff and playing around and stuff like that instead of just playing around all the time. So he's back to getting back up and he is 37 pounds. He's growing big. Still working on the potty training stage. He has some accidents. We're still trying to do that. Um, mostly at night. So in the day he's been pretty good about doing that. Peeing and pooping in the toilet. So that I'm pretty happy with. And he's been learning a lot. He likes a lot of games, learning games. He likes books a lot. Um, so we've been doing that. Uh, also, they like um, Team Umizumi and what is that other one? <laughs> Bubble Guppies. So they've been doing a lot of that as well. Well, not a lot of it, but when the TV's on, like right now, they watch it. Um, the, actually, the other one is, my youngest is in the other room <laughs> playing around. So, that is based on my oldest so far. He's been pretty good. They just He just finished getting his flu shots. And um, my littlest one, Ramon, which is 14 months right now, he just got his first flu shot, and he should be getting another one in a month. So, we're waiting on that. Um... So now to my second, Ramon. He is 14 months and he is almost 25 pounds. Oh, he's like huge. Not huge, but like he's heavy now. It's just, he's not a little feather anymore. He's like a sack of potatoes. So he just started walking actually. He walked at 13 months, which was in October. Um, just before he turned a year old, he started trying to do that whole entire walking thing. And then at 13 months in October, a little before 13 months though, um, he just started walking everywhere. So now he's actually trying to start running, which is funny because you see him with his arms up like this or like this, sorry, like that. And he's like trying to run and it's so cute. But um, he has been walking a lot. Uh, he is now on cow's milk, cow's milk, which is a surprise because, um, especially going from the a little bit of formula to cow's milk, it was like a quick change from breast milk formula to cow's milk. So it was like a quick change right there. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it um he's been doing good about it which i'm happy my oldest couldn't do formula he had to always be a soy baby so um he's been good about it a lot and he just touched his first snow like three days ago if you saw on instagram i have pictures up there um if you follow me on instagram um so he touched his first snow uh, like three days ago he didn't like it so much which was funny because my oldest which was born in California likes the snow and my youngest which is my second um, born here in Michigan and doesn't like the snow so much so it's a little weird anyways so there you guys go that's pretty much a little update about us um, yep that's pretty much it so have a nice day have a great Thanksgiving and bye